So I get a lot of questions in regards to how I make these videos and how do I record them and stream them and everything like that. Uh, luckily, uh, it's all free. Everything that I, that I am doing is uh, free software and there's you don't have to buy anything. Um, thankfully, uh, what you see here, now normally you can't see this. This is the included um, camera that comes with VR chat. You can use it as a picture camera or you can use it as a streaming camera. Right now I'm using it as a streaming camera. So to get this to work as a streaming camera, uh, you need to have something recording the output. You can't just use the, the phone or the, the VR chat camera by itself and have VR chat record anything that you're doing in VR chat. You need something to record the video output. Because basically what this is doing is when you're using stream camera, it's outputting with this little lens. If you see that little blue dot there, that lens is just outputting what it's seeing to the VR chat window on the desktop. So it's not actually what's what I see. If I turn this camera off, then what my eyes are seeing is what is being output to the desktop. So when you have this VR chat stream camera on, that's what changes your point of view. So now the lens is outputting to the desktop. And to order to record this or live stream it or whatever you want to do with it, I use uh, OBS Studio. It's an open source um, recording software, streaming slash streaming software. It's really great. And um, basically you just download that for free. And then from there, uh, I set you set the desktop regular uh, resolution and whatever you know whatever you want to do with that and then you tell OBS studio okay I want you to record video coming out of the VR chat window I don't want you don't record the desktop or re you can set it to record output so you just go in you go to new audio source and I mean uh, new vo new video source and just tell it to record the VR chat window when you have the VR chat streaming camera open, it's going to the window, and the window is being recorded by OBS. And I usually have this saved in a MP4 format. Um, I usually record at 720 at 60 frames a second, because it's um, less overhead on the computer, because you know, he's also having to render all of this at the same time with everything and recording. And also um, the limitations of uploading to Twitter. Um, the max, I believe, the max resolution for Twitter is 720 at 60 frames a second. So everything that I do, um, I'm just recording at 720, 60 frames a second. And so that's the basics of just getting the video recorded into VR chat. Um, I mean, out of VR chat. On the phone, there's six buttons. Um, the yellow button is in regards to the lens position. Now, that little blue dot there, that's the lens. And, um, it's the, the yellow button con controls the position of how the lens is moving. Um, the orange button is lens stabilization and um, lens control. The blue button is like a thumbnail. I never used the blue button yet. I don't know exactly what that does. I never bothered with it. I never had a need for it. So uh, you can figure that one out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the red button is effects. It's basically you can make it like all wobbly or fuzzy looking or whatever. I don't know. This all corny effects that you can use in there. Um, the green button locks the phone. So basically, you hit the green button, and it, it, you won't be able to grab it or accidentally hit any buttons if you're doing something very like strenuous and clicking and you're moving your fingers. See, like I just grabbed it by accident. Um, the green button will lock that. And the purple button is just the basic uh, basic timer. So if you want to click the button and run away and take a picture, it's like it acts like a like a, like a camera timer. So yeah, the so I'll go over the features on this too. So the yellow button has three settings. Um, the first one is the lens is stuck to the phone. So wherever you move the phone, that's where the lens goes. If you click that, now 
The second setting with the person on it means the lens stays where you push, when, whenever you, wherever you push the button, that's where the lens stays. So now, see how I can, I can move the phone away and the lens is no longer attached to the phone. But the lens is relative to your position. So if I move, you can see that the lens is following with me, which is nice because what you can do is you can have the lens pointing at you like from far away, like on an angle or something. And then you have your phone like up, you know, nearby your, now your, by your face and you can see and monitor, you know, what the camera is doing. <clears throat> and then the other one is a global setting. So now when you click the global setting, the phone, the lens is still detached from the phone, but the lens is positioning it to the world. So it's not based on my movements. Now I can walk away really far and the lens doesn't follow me. So those are the three settings on the uh, position. So now I put it back to, <laughs> I just dropped it. So, um, so now I put back to the lens being on the phone. But you see how like it's kind of jerky and everything? Um, there is a way to smooth it out. So there's, that's the orange button. It controls the lens itself, the lens movement. So I, I usually always try to keep this on smooth. So when you're panning around, you're not bouncing all over the place because your hands do get shaky in VR chat because the, the sensors are very precise and everything like that. Um, and then the other setting on this is the eyes. If you set it on the eyes, the, wherever the lens is, it immediately focuses on you. So it keeps you in the center of the frame so you can move around and do whatever you want and you're always being framed. And what's interesting with this setting, um, dependent on the, uh, the global or the, the detach of the lens, any of those three settings, um, with this on, it's always going to follow you. So you can have it on a global setting and you could be across the room and the camera is always gonna follow you. So that's what's neat with this. You can use this feature on all three settings. And um, yeah, so basically that's the, the big stuff that I use um, to make the videos and everything like that. So I always, those are the three settings and the image stabilization. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, there are also some cool tips too. If you like say you want to do a very cool panning shot and you know, you don't actually have to hold the phone. So right now it's attached to me, but if you want to pan, you can let go of the phone and you can just do a nice slow pan. So like, there's, there's, there's cool things that you can do with actually moving the camera that doesn't actually involve you holding the camera. Um, it's all based upon your avatar's movement. So you can do some pretty cool um, pans and rolls and all sorts of things like that. So yeah, it's definitely a cool thing to play around with. And um, yeah, that's that's how you, uh, you make the videos. And then of course, once you get it, you use your own respective um, editing software, either um, you know, Premiere or Final Cut Pro or whatever you're using. I personally use Sony's Vegas, Sony Vegas, and um, it works really well. You can uh, just I just do everything MP4 f format, so then I can take it and just dump it right into Twitter or right into um, YouTube. It, there is no there's no problems with that. So yeah, so that's the uh, the VR Chat streaming camera. <laughs>